Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be talking about a relentless storm that continues to bring very large health concerns to the Northeast United States due to a lot of heavy smoke. We'll also be discussing a severe weather potential this weekend that could be rather significant and potentially one of the more significant events that we've seen as of lately. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across Across the United States today. We're going to begin with the Northeast. This has been the big story for the past 24 hours is a massive trough that is actually moving to the West right now. This is creating a very strong northerly wind out of Canada. Now what this is allowing for is a huge plume of smoke from wildfires that are ongoing in Canada to drift down to the South. And we are seeing huge concerns of air quality across the Northeast, including areas like New York. And it's going to eventually go down into areas like the mid Atlantic region and even the Ohio Valley concerns are going to be growing over the next few days we're really not at the peak of this air quality right now it's going to get much worse over the next few days due to all this wildfire smoke now for the other part of the country we are still watching showers and storms this afternoon and evening there are there's a lot of convection out there a lot of this is not severe very isolated severe weather today but we will continue to see this threat across the great plains for the next few days but again notice it is a massive low pressure system it's nothing to be joking about very strong southerly winds and unfortunately these wildfires are not getting any better other than that they're just growing in size in canada right now now we're going to talk more specifically about the wildfires in just a moment but i do want to go over the weather pattern that's happening across the united states and when that smoke might actually end in the northeast united states and additionally what we're looking at for the future here across the united states so we're first going to begin with the current pattern we have a massive ridge right now in the northern plains here on the jet stream also back down in the southwest united states we do have a trough that's actually coming in we're going to see a trough ejection this weekend this will bring an increased risk for severe weather across areas like the southern and central plains a pretty rare slight risk of severe weather on day four for the southern plains on saturday we'll discuss more on that in a moment and then back over in the northeast that is where we have a big concern that's a massive and very strong trough that is sucking in air from the north and pushing it to the south that's helping to aid that wildfire smoke to move south into areas like the northeast and mid-atlantic so you're going to notice here going through thursday to friday the winds continue to come out of the north that's really a big concern because we're going to continue to see all that smoke just coming out of Canada and a bigger concern is that this will actually start to drift further to the west so we could actually see this wildfire smoke start to enter into areas like the Midwest this could even impact areas like Chicago so we have to watch this very closely over the next 48 hours once we go into Friday into Saturday those winds continue to come out of the north so you'll notice back up here that's where the wildfires are pretty much present right now it's all basically going to be going down to the south so we're going to continue to see that wildfire smoke go down that direction still very concerning there there. And then once we go through late Saturday into Sunday, that is when the winds start to shift a bit more from the north to the northwest. So the winds will actually start to come this direction, so that'll impact more areas into the New England area. And then eventually going into next week, winds should start to come out of the west, which should keep most of the smoke in either northern New England or in areas like Canada. But you'll notice going into next week, more importantly for the severe weather potential for those in the Great Plains and as well as the Midwest, there will be a couple areas to watch. A new trough will develop sometime late Monday. This will bring the threat for severe weather for those in the Ohio valley in northeast right now the risk looks low and then another trough ejection in the southwest united states that could pick up some significant severe weather as we go into next week so much more active weather is coming here across the united states now the air quality in the northeast is very very poor right now this is as of a few hours ago really terrible air quality i mean we're talking about hazardous air quality across the northeast united states primarily in pennsylvania new jersey and new york those are the areas that we've noticed the worst conditions even new york city looks like mars right now i'll show you a photo in a second it's unbelievable though so if you have any sort of issues going outdoors with maybe even just like the lightest of an air quality alert you do not want to go outside today and really you should be avoiding going outdoors at all because going outside for 24 hours in new york city is compared to smoking six cigarettes in a day it's unbelievable what we're seeing here in the northeast but this is as of right now around six seven o'clock tonight depends on when you watch this video air quality is still hazardous in new york anywhere in that pink area in the reds it's still very poor air quality you should just avoid being outdoors today if you're able to avoid any outdoor activities Going into tonight and tomorrow, we'll talk about more in just a second, but this is what New York City looks like as of a few hours ago. It literally looks like Mars. You can't even see the sun today. The temperature's really been unchanged in this area because it's just such a thick layer of wildfire smoke. So again, this is downtown New York. Quite incredible stuff there that we're seeing. Really nothing that we've seen ever before in the Northeast, at least from you know the last several decades. Now, for the next several days, again, we're going to be watching a lot of wildfire smoke. Those pinks are the worst of what this wildfire smoke will be. So you'll notice going in 
into tonight and as well as into tomorrow morning. That wildfire smoke is still very bad for parts of New York. If you're in the upstate New York area, not nearly as bad of any concerns for tomorrow afternoon. But notice where all that red is down in the mid-Atlantic region. That's concerning. We very well could see some very poor air quality down into areas like Virginia as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Once we go into tomorrow evening, wildfire smoke starts to start to really starts to drift more to the southwest. So we're going to really start to watch those northeasterly winds push this towards areas in the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. And the furthest this computer model goes out is into Friday around lunchtime. And this is around lunchtime on Friday. You'll notice really bad air quality that will extend from Canada back into areas like Ohio. So again, this threat will start to shift further to the west. New York City will get some sort of break from this. Not really a big break, but you'll at least see a bit of an improvement in air quality as we go into Friday. But overall, again, just avoid the outdoors. Make sure you're checking your weather app if you're in any of these air quality alerts because you want to make sure that you're not going outdoors when it's a very substantial risk of that air quality. Now, for the next several days, let's kind of shift gears to the temperatures. One positive out of this low pressure system in the northeast is the cooler weather. You'll notice any of these blue areas is representing below average temperatures, really the only positive to everything that we're seeing in the northeast. For those that want a little bit of relief before we get to summer and eventually going through the next several days, that trough will move off to the east. So normal temperatures will return eventually. Once we go into early next week, cooler temperatures will actually arrive to the mid United States as well as into the Midwest. That is definitely something to watch for if you want some cooler weather. Once we go into the later week, closer to Thursday to Friday, things become more uncertain, but it does seem as if that will have above average temperatures for the remainder of the country. One thing to note is when we go from Thursday, the 15th of June until the 21st, the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting that it will likely be above average temperatures from the Midwest and as well as throughout the Great Plains through the East Coast. And we could actually see some 100s start to appear down into areas like Texas and Louisiana as we go into next week and as well as into the following week. So something to watch out for there. Now, a quick little discussion on that severe weather potential for the next several days because things will start to ramp up. Today, it's not very concerning. Only a few areas that we're watching, mainly just hail and damaging wind threats. Tomorrow stays the same story pretty much, just a few risks of severe weather, very low end risks with those marginal risks. That's going to include areas like the Northern Plains, Northwest United States, Southeast United States, and as well as South Texas. And then heading into Friday, we have another marginal risk back down in the Central and Southern Plains, mainly for hail and damaging winds. Most concerning day though that I see in the next four to five days is currently Saturday. This is when we could start to see the potential for maybe a small scale severe weather outbreak with hail, damaging winds, and a tornado risk all returning to areas like the Southern and Central Plains. And one more huge announcement before this video ends, we officially have our Tornadic Supercell collection available on our website. It's just on Trucker Hats for right now, but we'll be adding more soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Make sure to check out shopmaxvelocity.net for the latest. You can also go to the description down below to click the link to the store. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting.